Welcome back everyone. Are you looking for a day full of laughter? Well, the National Comedy Center in Jamestown is the place to be, especially over the next few months. Known as the Cooperstown of Comedy, the museum is attracting some top-notch talent and an interactive visit unlike any other. Kate Wellshofer is communications and content strategist with the National Comedy Center and is here now live. It is great to see you. Hi, friend. How are you? Good. This seems oddly familiar, doesn't uh, no. it? I <laughs> know. I was going to say, in full disclosure to our viewers, yes. Kate and I have been friends, co-workers, co-anchors for years. Yes. During the pandemic, we somehow survived it together. We did, and we needed a sense of humor for that. Yes, them. we did. Kate <laughs> is probably the funniest person I know, so I'm so glad that you're working with the Comedy Center. You can't um, start out like that. Now they're expecting they're too expecting, much. They're yeah. expecting, who was it? Who did you did you interview? Was it Tina Fey or was it Amy, Amy Poehler? Poehler? Amy Poehler. Yeah. And I'm watching the interview and I laughed more at Kate than I did at Amy <laughs> Poehler. So that's a huge compliment. Um, there's a lot of stuff going on, beginning with the big Lucille Ball yeah. Festival. Um, tell me about that. Yeah, it's happening August 1st through the 4th. And it really is one of the most important comedy festivals really in the nation because it is celebrating the legacy, of course, of Lucille Ball, the hometown gal of Jamestown, yeah. New York. And it's also showcasing the best of comedy right now. We have great headliners, Nicole Byer. We have have, um, we also have Jeff Ross and we also have Nate Bargetsy here as well. And then we also have late night com comedy with some of the best comedians that are touring clubs right now. They're performing on late night shows right now. So you really are getting that whole picture of comedy plus um, you know, block parties and music yeah. and food and all of that good stuff that it's makes it fun. It's a lot of fun stuff yeah. going on. You talk about late night. Do you know I was on Jimmy Fallon this week? You were? He played a news clip of me doing a story. I'm not even going to talk about it. It was not the best story, <laughs> but it, yeah, fun stuff. Good for um, you. Yeah. Um, the uh, It's not all that's going on. Um, yeah. There are a bunch of other people coming. What else throughout the summer? Yeah, it really is a, just such a great place for families, by the way, and it's great for all generations. And yeah. I think you talk about the Cooperstown of comedy, and I want people to know that that doesn't mean you have to be an expert in comedy. You don't have to be a super fan of comedy. You just have to enjoy laughing. And it really is for all ages, and it's so fun to see families coming together. And you might see parents who are a huge fan of a, of a comedian or a show, and their kids might not be so familiar familiar, but they learn while they're there and like, oh, that Johnny Carson's not, you know, pretty funny, pretty funny guy, you know, so, so it really is fascinating to see how that all comes together and also walking through a place and people are just giggling. Yeah. I mean, you can't beat that. Yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah. Um, what has most surprised you? Because you covered the National Comedy Center like yes. we all have. I mean, it's this gem that we have in Western yeah. New York. Um, what surprised you since you took over this, this new job? I think what surprises me the most is how many people don't know about it. Yep. They don't know a lot about it. They're not really sure about it. And then when people come, they are absolutely blown away. They use those words. Yep. I had no idea this was here, that this was like this. This is incredible. It's an amazing place to come. I want to come back. Um, so that's been really interesting to me, and it's been really fun to tell people, hey, this place is really awesome. It's incredibly fun. Um, it's a great place to visit. Yeah, it's interesting. I was just talking about the Taste of Buffalo, right? And yep. there are people watching right now who live in Western New York who've never been to the Taste of Buffalo. Right. Certainly people who have never been to the National Comedy Center. Um, what are some of those things beyond the big festival that's happening? Right. Um, the interact of exhibits. I was just telling you I was down there. I haven't been yet this year, but last summer. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is such a like a an immersive experience and so many different things to check out. Well, it also is reactive to you, which I think is really incredible. Yeah. You get there and you know, you put on a wristband, you create a humor profile, you walk around and these exhibits respond to what is your sense of humor. And if yeah. we're in there together, what's our sense of humor collectively? But I think one of the things that I kind of rediscovered being there that I think is hilarious and so fun is the green screen immersive experience. Yeah. We saw it there with the pie in the yeah. face, or you can, for example, um, do a scene from Anchorman um, on the that. desk, which you might appreciate that as well. You know, Dumb and Dumber and SNL skits, and it's just so, so many things like that that the whole family can get in on and, yeah. and laugh and enjoy. I know the viewers are, are wondering right now, what is Kate Welsh's first humor profile? Oh, it's wild. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a like, it's a it's it's weird. It's a little bit of everything. Yeah. It's a little little wild. It's a little weird. Is it? Uh, yeah, more appropriate for daytime TV. Maybe we'll save that. For Not it. for the blue room, <laughs> which is you know also such a great part of the museum, yeah. which is so fun to see because it's that boundary pushing kind of wild comedy, but also such a great conversation as well about um, the First Amendment and how comedians yeah, right. often are on the front lines of of those conversations we're not quite ready to have. But when you say it with humor, it's all right. It happens. Kate Welshofer with the National Comedy Center. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Thank have you, friend. A, have a